Good morning, my dear students, the students of grade five. Today's lesson is grammar, uh, and it will be about conjunctions. A conjunction, a conjunction is a word. A conjunction is a word, such as the word and, but, or. We have three conjunctions today. We have and, but, or. We use them to join words or phrases or sentences. For example, we use the word and to join uh, things that they are the same or related to each other. Like, for example, when I say here, the snowy owl. The snowy owl here, this is a bird. And, this is the conjunction, snow bunting. The snow bunting here is a bird. So, snowy owl and snow bunting are birds. I put and in the middle here in order to join between, in order to join between them. Number two, for example, I use the word but to join two things that they are opposite to each other or contrasting, it has got contrasting. Contrasting, it means opposite to each other. Like for example, when I say here in the part of the sentence, I like, and here I said not. Look at the sentence, like, like, not. So I like this now here in the first part of the sentence, I like this now. In the second part, but not the cold. So I like the snow, but not the cold. Here I like, and in here I don't like, or not. I put the word but in the middle in order to join between two contrasting ideas or two opposite ideas. Number three, we have the word or. Or here, uh, links between two sentences in order to show us um, like uh, choices. Like when I say, for example, is that a ringed seal or a hooded seal? So here I said a ringed seal or a hooded seal. I put or here in order to what? To make like choices. Okay, guys, to choose between uh, two of them. Do you like to drink tea or milk? For example, tea or milk. Uh, this is the part of what? This is the part of um the conjunctions and but or um the most important part of today in the grammar lesson is that we can use three of them the uh, three conjunctions uh, conjunctions of today and but or to make compound subjects to make compound predicate and to make compound sentences uh yes this part it's so important so i prepare something like this for you in order to understand yes the conjunctions here, we can use and, or, but, to make. To make what? Number one, compound subjects. What does it mean, the word compound subjects, guys? What does it mean, the word compound subjects? A compound su subject, like, for example, when I say the tiger and the lion. Take care. I put the word and here in order to link between two subjects here. The first subject in the sentence is tiger. And the second one is the lion. So the lion and the tiger, or the tiger and the lion. In here, I link between the two subjects using, word, using the word and, or using one conjunction, and. Okay, sentence number two. The cat and the mouse are always fighting. Ah, uh, could anybody here tell me what is the conjunction word? Yes, the conjunction word is and. Conjunction word, it means the linking word, and. Uh, it links between what here? It links between two compound subjects or two subjects. Where where are they? I have the cat. This is number one, and I have the mouse. This is number two. So the cat. This is a, 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 a subject number one, and the mouse subject number two. I put and in the middle to link between two subjects. So when you link between two subjects using one of the conjunctions, it means that you use the conjunction in order to com combine between compound subjects. I'm gonna repeat this one again, guys, the compound subjects. What does it mean, compound subjects? Compound, it means the two subjects. It means that your sentence has two subjects. And to put two subjects together, you have to link between them using one of the conjunctions, like end here, I use end here. And number two, the cat and the mouse. So cat and mouse. Here, tiger and lion. This is the first part about the compound what about the compound subjects. Number two, we can use uh, and, but, or 
in order to compound, uh, in order to combine between compound what compound uh, predicate. What is a compound predicate, guys? It means that you will find two verb, two verbs in the sentence. You will find the two verbs in the sentence. Like for example, when I say here the cat chased and caught the mouse. Look at this one here. I have the cat. This is the noun of the sentence. Okay, uh, or the subject of the sentence. After the word cat, I have got chased. This is one verb. And caught. So chased and caught. Chased and caught. This is one action or verb. And this is another action. So uh, the word end here linked between this action, chased, and this action, caught. The word end links between this verb, chased, and this verb, caught. So when I say compound the predicate, you have to tell me that compound the predicate teacher, it means that uh, and, but, or are going to link it between two actions in the sentence or two verbs in the sentence. Like, for example, this one, the Greek restaurant has closed. Look at this one here, has closed, but huh, will reopen soon. So I have but here, this is the conjunction word. Has closed, this is the first action. Will reopen soon, this is another action. So the word about here links between has closed, this is one action, and will reopen, this is another action. And this is about the compound word, the compound predicate. The last one, compound sentence. I take care, when we use and, but, or to uh, combine between sentences or to make compound sentences, don't forget you have to put a comma before the conjunction. So we have to put a comma before the conjunction in, com uh, in joining the sentences or in combining the sentences. Like for example, they spoke to him in English. Look at this one. They spoke to him, all this, in English, but he responded in English. Take care, guys. I put here comma with the conjunction or before the conjunction here. Okay, so here... They spoke to him in English. This is one sentence. He responded in English. Uh, in Spanish, this is another sentence. So to, uh, to uh, uh, link between those two sentences, I use one of the conjunction here, but. And I put before the word but what, I put a comma. Number two. Huh? Could anybody here help me in finding the conjunction word and the comma? Yes, let's read it together. She goes to the beach. And she takes her cat. Come on, this is the first sentence of this of the. Uh, this is the first part of the sentence. In here, we're gonna put, uh, for example, this color. She goes to the beach. Uh, comma here, and this is the conjunction with the comma. After that, she takes her cat. We're gonna put it with another color, for example, green. So she goes to the beach. This is the first part of the sentence. And she takes her cat. Uh, could you please tell me what you can notice here? What you can understand from this sentence? Yes. Is that in compound sentences, in compound sentences, you have two parts of a sentence. The first part is a sentence or is an isolated sentence. And the second part is another sentence. For example, she goes to the beach. This is a sentence. She takes her cat. This is another sentence. Each sentence here can stand alone. Each sentence here can stand alone. She goes to the beach. This is one sentence. She takes her cat. This is another sentence. So each one here can stand what can stand alone. If you want to link between them, between this sentence and this sentence, it means uh, that you have to put a compound or you have to put a conjunction with a comma. With a comma. Don't forget the comma here. We put only the comma. Uh, if we are uh, linking between two sentences, two separate sentences, two separate sentences. Okay, guys, and this was today's lesson about uh, the conjunctions. I want you guys to go back to your readers and writers notebook, answer the pages that I'm going to put now and mention in the post on Class Dojo, answer it and send it to me. I hope you understand today, guys. See you tomorrow with another lesson. Bye.